Hello, I'm Nick from Quit With Nick. Stop smoking specialist. Ex-smoker, uh, to date it's been about 13 years that I've been helping people quit smoking and to date over three and a half thousand smokers. So uh, I know the mindset, I know the mental kind of tricks that we can play on each other, especially smoker. And I wanted to share a little tip, insight, about the second biggest killer a smoker faces. The first biggest killer is obviously the actual cigarette smoking. But there is something that is the second biggest detrimental thing to your success at quitting if you've made the decision that you want to be a non-smoker. And it might not be what you think it is. And that is procrastination. It's as simple as that. Because if you're watching this, chances are quitting has been on your mind for quite a while. And it's very easy for this particular problem to persist when we're thinking, well, look, I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, I will quit. Oh, there's something coming up. I'll do it after that party. I'll do it in the new year. I'll do it when I get back from holidays. There's always the next thing that your mind can use as the excuse to just put it off. Just, you know, it'll, it'll get done eventually. You know, and it really is, when you think about it, the second biggest killer to a smoker because that procrastination can literally mean, it might sound dramatic, but it's not really. It can mean the difference between life and death. Anyone who's died directly because of cigarette smoking more than likely ended that way because they procrastinated on quitting. Sure, there might be some people that were on their deathbed saying, look, I never wanted to quit. Yeah, I never tried, never bothered, didn't care. Probably a small percentage though. The larger percentage of people who right now are sitting in a hospital bed with a, ga with a mask on their face or something, if you ask them, did you want to quit? Like, did, was it an intention of yours to eventually stop smoking? God, who knows, 95% of them probably would say, yeah, it was, it was, didn't get around to it, tried a few times, you know, uh, and look, each time you try, you get better at it. So one thing's for sure, if you quit on quitting, if you give up on quitting, then you'll know where it's going to lead to. But this procrastination thing can really be the devil in disguise, really. Uh, and it, well, it's not even so much a disguise because often people will call me to inquire about my program and then they'll say, oh, I'll, I'll get back to you. Maybe, you know, they're curious, curious enough to make a call and inquiry and leave their number, but they're not, not quite ready to take that next step. Not quite ready to put the stake in the ground. There's another video I've got actually you might be interested in, which is how do you know when you're ready? That's really worth watching if you're not sure whether you are ready or not and how you know you'll be ready. Uh, but the procrastinating is so common. I see it all the time, you know. And when people will say, oh, I'll get back to you, I actually ask everyone, would you like me to follow up? And I give them a reason why. I'll follow you up because if I don't, chances are I'm not going to hear from you because life will get in the way as it does for all of us. Things happen, unexpected things, we're putting out fires, we've got this to deal with, that to deal with. Before you know it, oh, that smoking thing. Yeah, I did call Nick six months ago, a year ago. Yeah, I was, I was going to do something and then oh, I never got around to it. If I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Whereas I like to take a proactive approach to encourage people by following them up, keeping them accountable. If you've called and inquired with me, chances are I'm, I'm going to follow up with you to keep you accountable to a goal that you have in mind. And here's the thing, even if you don't book with me or come to see me, or even if you don't choose not to do hypnotherapy, just the fact that 
the person you inquired with has followed you up means you're keeping the quitting thing in the forefront of your mind, not, oh yeah, I'll follow you up. Great, okay, I'll leave it with you, smoking uh, smoker. If you ever need me, you call me. And then, you know, and a year later, oh yeah, I'm still smoking. When you could have actually quit. If someone had just been in touch with you to eliminate the procrastination, you know, it's so important. And if someone ends up quitting with a patch, the gum, the spray, Champix, just the fact I followed up with them keeps it in their mind, you know, like, okay, quit, I've got, got to get onto that. Okay, got to take some action soon. Because here's the thing, procrastination, it really feeds into that idea that sometimes we want things to change, but we're not willing to change anything. We want things to be different, but not willing to do what it takes to make things different, not willing to do the action steps. And procrastination is obviously a big factor in that. So just something to consider and think about. And if you do know anyone that's on the quitting journey or path or thinking about it or putting off, could be someone you love or know, a friend, family member, maybe share this with them. You never know what you might share with someone that might give someone a aha moment and hear that penny drop and that's it, done, you know, cold turkey. Anyway, I'm Nick from Quit With Nick. To your health, take care. Bye.